Welcome. In this playthrough of Marvel Champions card game, we have my first play with Venom going up against Norman Osborn in some risky business. So for our setup, we have Venom, Thwarted One, Attack of Two, Defense of Two, Guardian and a Space Knight. You can control one additional upgrade that has the restricted keyword, so instead of two, we can have three. Symbiotic Bond, Resource, Take One Damage, Generate a Wild Resource, Once Per Phase, Hand Size of Five, and Twelve Health. Alter Ego, Recovery Four, Control one additional upgrade that has a restricted keyword. He's armed and ready for setup. Discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a weapon upgrade. Then add that card to your hand, starting with a hand size of 6 and 12 hit points. For our deck, in typical fashion for my first play, I'm using the pre-con deck, but I am going to take out two of the side holsters. So it's one of those things, play under any player's control, but you can have a max of one and just my personal preference. I'm, I don't put more than what I can put into play on that. So those two cards, replacing with Wiccan and Quake. Then for our main scheme, we've got a hostile takeover going on. So we've got Norman Osborn one and two, Risky Business, Goblin Gimmicks, and Standard Encounter Sets. Uh, for setup, put the Criminal Enterprise environment into play, shuffle the encounter deck, and then advance to stage 1B. This side will have a threshold of seven. When completed, place one Infamy Counter on Criminal Enterprise, and discard a card from each player's deck for each Infamy Counter on that card, starting with two threat on it. So Criminal Enterprise enters play with two Infamy Counters on it per player. So if there are no Infamy Counters here, flip Norman Osborne and Criminal Enterprises. So we've got State of Madness on the other side. Enters play with two Madness Counters on it per player. There are no Madness counters here. Flip Green Goblin and State of Madness. So this is going to be flipping back and forth. And Norman, Schema 2 for its attack. Uh, when he would attack, place an Infamy counter on Criminal Enterprise instead. And a Force Interrupt. When Norman Osborne would take any amount of damage, remove that many Infamy counters from Criminal Enterprise. Starts with 14 health. The flip side, Scheme, it's a Force Interrupt. When he would scheme, remove a Madness counter from State of Madness. Attack of three. And when revealed, deal three indirect damage to each player in hero form. And 14 health. All right. Finish setting up. Shuffling our encounter deck. And then Flash is going to get six cards. Give this a shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Making an entrance, a sonic rifle, resourceful, energy, fan of that. Another rifle and a savage attack. Not what I'm looking for for first hand. So five more cards. Pistol, run and gun, scare tactic, run and gun, and another pistol. Still not what we were looking for, so discard till we find a weapon upgrade. That's one we want. All right, we're going to flip over. Uh, bring in our multi-gun. Restricted. Uh, we can exhaust it to do one of the following. Deal two damage to an enemy. Choose a player. Deal damage to each minion engaged with that player. Or remove two threat from a scheme. Then we're going to bring in a plasma pistol. Restricted. Comes under three counters on it. Hero action exhausted to remove a charge counter from it to deal one damage to an enemy. So we will go ahead and do that. Doing one damage. Use the multi-gun to remove two threat. And I just don't think I'm ready to flip him over yet. So we will stop there. We'll go ahead and keep that pistol. So power of justice. Jack Flag, a Scare Tactic, and more power. So we get a threat. He goes to attack, which means he puts a token up here. We get an encounter card. Hired Gun. Schema 2, Attack of 2, 3 health. When revealed, choose to either give the villain a face-down boost card or place two infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise. I think we'll give him a face-down boost card. Then we will attack for two, and then put another damage on him. Of 
We'll bring in Jack Flag, thwart a two, attack of one, three health. After he thwarts, place an ammo counter on him. It's a hero action. Exhaust him to remove a counter from him to deal two damage to an enemy. So we'll thwart. Take your damage, gain a counter, then be silly and take two off that, which will flip, put in two madness counters on it and flip him over. So it's going to attack a three. When revealed, deal three indirect damage to each player in hero form. The way indirect damage works is we can assign that however we want amongst the characters we have. The only caveat is we kind of assign more damage to a character than they have health. So I couldn't put three damage on him because he only has two health left. Um, and when he would scheme, we remove a madness counter. So three damage. We'll put one there and we'll take two ourselves. Then we're going to take a damage to give us a resource to bring in another plasma pistol. And that gets three counters. And we'll go ahead and use one to do one damage. And end her turn. One, two, three, four, five. Genius, Sonic Rifle, Run and Gun, our pistol, and some Grasping Tendrils. All right, so we're getting a threat. Then we're getting attacked and we're going to be brave and just take it. Brave or stupid, one of the two. Three, four, place an infamy counter on criminal enterprise if you cannot remove a madness counter. So we're just taking four, not bad. Down to five health. Then our encounter card is the villain schemes and he flips over. All right, we're going to do a damage and then swap out again, which is going to flip this over. Three indirect damage. We're going to go down to two health. Then we're going to exhaust this to remove a counter to do two damage down to 11. Then two damage. Down to nine. Bring in our pistol. Uh, when you use one of his basic powers, exhaust the pistol. He gets plus one to that power for this use. So attacking for three, down to six. Then we're gonna spin three, run and gun, ready venom and each weapon upgrade you control. Two damage, down to four, and I need to heal. So up to six. Ending your turn, drawing six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Got our other pistol, locked and loaded, Project Rebirth. That's a good card. Making an entrance, Wiccan, and strength. Good stuff. So we add a threat. He goes to scheme, removes a counter. Then their encounter card is a goblin glider. So now he's got plus one attack. We can spend two energy resources to discard this as a hero action. But back to us, we're gonna bring in Project Rebirth. It's an alter ego action. We can choose to either draw a card or heal three damage. Uh, we're gonna go for healing three damage up to nine. Then we'll flip over. Bring in our pistol. Well, before we bring in our pistol, shoot for one, down to three health. Now bring in our pistol, because we're max of three restricted. Then we're going to bring in Wiccan, thwart a one, attack a one, three health. After he thwarts, discard the top card. Encounter deck, reach boost icon, discard it this way, deal one damage to an enemy. So thwarting for one. And doing two damage. Taking him down to one health. And then we are going to use the multi-gun for two to flip this over. 
So going on to the next version, when this guy comes out, four indirect damage to each player. Um, we'll put one there and take three yourself down to six. He also has an attack of four and the same thing for the forced interrupt when he would scheme, remove a madness counter. And then we are going to attack for four. He came in with 18 hell, so he's down to 14. And ending your turn. One, two, three, four, five. Savage Attack, there's Spidey Sense, Resourceful, a Side Holster, and Quake. So we add a threat. He's going to attack, and Jack is going to take it. Base 5 damage. Place an Infamy Counter on Criminal Enterprise. If you cannot, remove a Madness. So that happens before we apply damage. So right now, he does have a plus 1 attack, which is enough to kill Jack here. Then our encounter card, Struggle for Control. Give to Flash Thompson player. You may choose to flip to our Alter Ego. We will. So now we can either exhaust Flash Thompson to take two damage and discard this obligation, or put one set aside copy of the Enraged Symbiote into play engage with the first player. If you cannot, this card gains Surge and discard this obligation. So we'll bring this guy in. Schema 1, attack of 2, 2 health. He's got guard and patrol. So while he's engaged with us, we can't thwart the main scheme or attack the villain. He's not going to be long, around for long. So we're going to heal for 3. Going up to 9. I'm going to take 4 more damage when we flip that thing back over. We're going to heal for four or three. So we're up to 12. Flip over. I'm going to take a damage to get a resource. To bring in Quake. Four to one, attack of two, two health. After a minion schemes, exhaust Quake to deal two damage to that minion. Then we're going to bring in Spider Sense. When the villain initiates an attack against you, we draw a card. Um, we will deal two damage. Actually, remove two threats. Use her for the two damage. And end her turn. One, two, three, four, five, get in a counter card. So we've got our pistol, resourceful, so we've seen everything in the deck now. And shuffle. And then we get a threat. He's going to attack, which means he adds a counter. We get an encounter card. You pay off. So that comes in with two thread on it. And attach to the enemy with the highest printed hit points without another glider. If you cannot, this card gains surge. All in a day's work, when revealed, place two infamy counters on criminal enterprises. That's a bummer. All right, removing two threats. We are going to take a damage to generate a wild resource that we're going to make mental. Use this. Remove three threat from a scheme. If you paid for this card using only mental resources, confuse an enemy. So Norman is confused. Then we're going to play a scare tactic. Hero action. Deal three damage to a confused enemy. And I'll try to put my cards in the right spot. So three damage goes to there. 
Quake sacrifices to do two damage here, which is going to flip everything. Four indirect damage. Well, she's out. And we're going to take it all down to six health. And then attack for four. Down to ten. That's going to end her turn. We'll keep the tendrils. Getting a genius, savage attack, strength, and making an entrance. So we get a threat. He initiates an attack. We draw a card into Star-Lord. We respond when the villain initiates an attack. Cancel that attack. If you paid for this using only physical resources, stun the villain. And counter card. And Goblin attacks a hero with the fewest hit points remaining. If no attack was made this way, this card gains Surge, so that's interesting. So it goes to attack, he removes Stunned, no attack was made, so it gains Surge, I guess. Into Shadow of the Past. We wanted to see that anyway. Reveal your set aside Nemesis minion, or minions and everything else. So our side scheme, threat cannot be removed from this scheme while a symbiote enemy is in play. It comes in with two threats. And these guys have guard and patrol, so we can't, well, obviously we can't deal with that or the green goblin. And we've seen one of those before. All right, multi-gun, pop this guy off. Uh, savage attack, deal five damage to an enemy if you paid for this using only energy resources, which we're not. Gets overkill, but at least we can take care of one of them. Then we're going to take a damage to create a resource so we can bring in Star Lord. Four to two, attack of two, three health. It's got range, force response. After he enters play under your control, deal yourself a face down to counter card. And then he can attack for two to get rid of that one. And then we can thwart for three to get rid of this. And I'm just going to flip over and heal for three. So we're up to eight. And end her turn. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Jack Plag, Side Holster, Rifle, Run and Gun, Resourceful, and a Plasma Pistol. So we add a threat. He's going to scheme and lose Confused. Then another encounter card, first one. Villain heals X, where X is equal to double his stage number. So healing four, up to 14. Then Oscorp's Manufacturing. When revealed, Norman Osborn. It's not, so we're just getting two thread on that. And back to our turn. We're going to heal for three, up to 11. Flip over. All right. Two damage. Down to 12. Two damage. Down to 10. Um, we'll keep that. Attack for four. Down to six. We'll thwart for one. To do one damage. Down to five. And we're going to run and gun. Here are action, ready venom, and each weapon upgrade you control. So then we can attack for four more, down to one health, and that does the rest. So that is Venom using his pre-con deck with just two slight modifications. Like I said, I didn't see a reason to have three side hol holsters in play just for him. So we added Wiccan and Quake. And that was enough to take care of Green Goblin and Norman Osborn.
So as always, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.